What's up? It's the Coaster Craze, and today I'll be showing you guys around everything new for 2021 at Six Flags America. It is opening day, March 6th right now. It's pretty empty, which is going to be awesome. And so here's just the main entrance. It doesn't look like there's much different. There's still a lot of Purell and hand sanitizer stations around the park, which is great. All COVID procedures are going to be exactly the same as last season, which is really nice to see. Got some advertisements and unfortunately looks like park maps, at least physical park maps during this time of year are still not around, which is unfortunate, but makes a lot of sense during COVID. So here's just a look around Main Street 1776. It's looking very nice and fresh. It's great to see it on opening day. I'll catch you guys in other sections of the park as we go through more of the changes. Looks like the three-point shoot is once again open. I don't know if it opened at all last year, probably because of COVID and all. We got all the basketballs, looks all fresh. You got some new prizes. Looking very, very nice. There's a great small park improvements all around the park this year in that there's a lot of new fresh signs. Look at that. Looney Tunes Movie Town, as well as there's a, a new Raging Cajun sign. It's like the same as the last one, but it's so much fresher and really just makes the ride stand down the section. The whole Mardi Gras area really pops, especially this year. I love that they spend the time to repaint and just get new signs because the marquees are a huge deal. In terms of Superman, so last year the blue train was down almost the entire year. But if you look there, it's on the transfer track and it is ready to go. It was testing earlier, um, not today, but yeah, so the blue train has the, the dummies in it right now, but it is good to go, which is great to see that both trains are back in operation on Superman. Another important thing to note that is really awesome, besides the extra signs that Six Flags America is doing, is that the coaster is a major rides without like sp spiels in the station and like station music have been getting that. So Batwing now has this awesome station music and like whole like ride spiel before you go and it builds so much excitement. It was really, really cool riding it for that. So yeah, job well done on just whatever department covered that. That was that's such a little niche that people forget about, but the music really does so much in building excitement for the ride. Nice little sign saying that Blizzard River will open March 31st. Um, so yeah, this attraction is not going away. It's not being removed. Still not sure what ride will be removed from Six Flags America. But yeah, it's opening a little bit later because that's to do with water. And it's very cold right now, it's like 45 degrees. Some more great new signs. I've seen these throughout the park. They've always had some, but these are a lot more. Really helpful for directions. Of course, I don't really even notice them because I kind of know this park like the back of my hand, but it's great to see that they have this. It looks really nice and fresh. Obviously, the biggest addition for 2021 is Harley Quinn's Insanity, the Zamperla Giant Discovery. It's not yet open yet. I'm not sure when exactly it will. I'm thinking a later spring opening because they're pretty far along. But yeah, that's that's really great to see how it's doing. Check out a separate construction update. I did it, which I'll link in the iCard up above. Yeah, and I go into depth on that. Look, here's another new sign. These are great because I always thought like there's a real lack of like signs that say like directions and stuff. So yeah, clearly. Um, the new park president, Richard Pretlow, and his whole team, they saw that lack and they addressed it, and that is awesome. The game here is looking very fresh. Got a new sign, rollerball. Everything is just popping. And, like, I'm mistaking like, old stuff for being new just because of the signs. And just like fresh paint. It really does a lot, so yeah, I appreciate those little details. Definitely taking note of them. And the new signs keep on going. Look at that. I love that little poker sign. That's cute. And Crazy Cars finally got its own sign instead of just seeing Los Coaches locos on the attraction building. It looks very fresh. Let's have a look at the Mind Racer area, Renegade Rapids. Oh, looks the same, but still, that's very, very nice to see that they have some new signs as well. Looks like they have a sign just like with Penguin. Renegade Rapids is going to open April 24th. That's pretty nice. It's pretty early for. A river rapids ride. I also want to mention that a few other new changes have since appeared at the park since I was last there that I didn't realize. So the first is that the game that was located right by a wild one in the Mardi Gras section 
is no longer there, courtesy of this picture, which I found on an online forum, and it's been completely cleared out, possibly for a new game, or maybe even a seating area. Also, Bourbon Street Fire Pole got an awesome new lighting package that you can be sure to catch when it's dark outside. It really looks amazing. And finally, the big news, of course, is we do know what the ride that will be leaving the park is, and that is Zumasant Falls, the collection of four colorful water slides in the Hurricane Harper Water Park. And the big confirmation comes from the park map where it has been completely removed and it's also not on the website anymore. I think this is gonna conclude the video. There wasn't a ton of new stuff, of course. This isn't like 2020, which I'll link in the iCar up above, where there was a ton of just like minor little new additions added to the park. This is the more subtle year because honestly the infrastructure is pretty good already. So just making some nice little changes like these signs and the station music and of course Harley Quinn's Insanity when that opens up. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. This is a Coaster Chris signing off. Goodbye.